the Queen is more likely to give Prince Charles a new title to have him take on a more prominent role rather than renounce the crown in the coming years, royal commentator Money Blocks claimed. The Queen has been known to consider her role of monarch as a lifelong commitment and is believed to be planning to remain on the throne until the day she dies. Over the past few years, an increasing number of kings and queens across Europe have given up their crowns in favor of their first direct descendants, sparking speculation the Queen may choose to do the same. But royal expert Monique Bloch suggested the monarch could choose to simply have Prince Charles assume more power by giving him a new title. Speaking to the Royal Central podcast, Ms. Blox said, I think if anything happens, it's more likely she'll make Charles regent instead of completely abdicating. I think it's very unlikely that she will abdicate. As regent, Prince Charles would assume the majority of duties Queen Elizabeth II currently carries out but would not be crowned king until the passing of his mother. The last regency in the UK took place between 1811 and 1820, when future King George IV took over control from his father George III. The sovereign would be able to make the Prince of Wales a Prince Regent by triggering the Regency Acts, a series of laws which dictate the rules to remove powers from the monarch to an appointed member of the royal family in the event of the Queen being unable to carry out her duties. The latest version of the Acts was drafted in 1937 to set out plans for a Regency in the event of then Princess Elizabeth inheriting the crown from her father, George VI, while still underage. According to the Regency Act of 1937 at least three people, including Prince Philip, the Chancellor and the Speaker of the House of Commons, would have to declare evidence provided proof that the Sovereign is for some definite cause not available for the performance of those functions. While the Prince of Wales would take on the roles usually performed by the Sovereign, the Duke of Edinburgh would become a guardian of the Queen. While talks of the Queen relinquishing all or part of her powers to Charles have been dismissed in the past, the first in line to the throne has been increasingly taking on extra duties from the monarch. Royal biographer Phil Dampier earlier this year said, he is starting to do that already, being at the state opening in Parliament and the Commonwealth Conference. He is starting to take over a lot of her duties and doing the investitures. Prince Charles is also believed to have been meeting with the Queen throughout the week to discuss matters of state, with the Prince of Wales also reportedly included in a distribution list of dispatch boxes the monarch regularly receives from Whitehall. Royal author Robert Jobson said the Queen and Prince Charles are already in a period of transition whereby the Sovereign is granting her son with more and more responsibility. Mr. Jobson said, the Queen at her next birthday will be 93. She has not completed a long-haul state visit since 2011. Although the Prince of Wales has talked about there only being one sovereign at a time and that is true, what you do have is a bit of a dual monarchy at the moment and a transition that is ongoing. The Queen has been on the throne for 67 years and following her coronation she pledged to serve her people across the UK and the Commonwealth throughout all my life and with all my heart. In her first speech since taking on the crown in 1953, the monarch said, I have in sincerity pledged myself to your service, as so many of you are pledged to mine. I am sure that this, my coronation, is not the symbol of a power and a splendour that are gone but a declaration of our hopes for the future, and for the years I may, by God's grace and mercy, be given to reign and serve you as your queen. Queen Elizabeth II will give Prince Charles a new title, but she will never abdicate. Many are concerned for the Queen and her duty in the monarchy as she gets older. However, the 93-year-old monarch is not showing any signs of slowing down when it comes to her duties and responsibilities as the head of the monarchy. Despite this, many believe that Queen Elizabeth II will delegate more work to the Prince of Wales. According to royal expert Monique Blocks, she might give Prince Charles a new title so he could take on more duties in preparation for his future role as the next king. I think if anything happens, it's more likely she'll make Charles regent instead of completely abdicating, Bloch said in the Royal Central podcast. Top articles. Two-fifths. Read more. NASA releases incredible 3D map of the moon. I think it's very unlikely that she will abdicate. When Prince Charles becomes the regent, he will assume the majority of duties of the monarch. 
however, Queen Elizabeth II will remain the monarch. The Prince of Wales would not be crowned king until the passing of the Queen. The new title will make the heir apparent a king in all but name. The speculations about Queen Elizabeth II making Prince Charles the Prince Regent has been around for months. According to Robert Jobson in his book Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes and Dreams, the senior officials within the royal household have already confirmed that Prince Charles is already the Prince Regent. Meanwhile, others claim that this won't happen until the Queen is 95. Some close to the monarch say that, if she reaches the age of 95, she will make a monumental decision and choose to officially allow Charles to take over the stewardship of her reign, Jobson wrote. She will, they say, officially transfer all executive powers to him as Prince Regent until her death, when he will become king. This would enable her to fudge the issue of her not fulfilling her coronation oath to God and her people to serve as Queen Regnant until her death. Queen Elizabeth II has several reasons why she doesn't want to give up the throne. First, she promises to reign for life. She also felt that it's her duty to reign. Meanwhile, some claim that the monarch doubts Prince Charles's leadership skills.